Oh, yeah. There were some punches thrown. And really? There was big old guys. They don't need to be fucking fighting. They're too Man, old for that. those guys, they took it too far. I don't know. That, that, uh, that heat fight. Where, like, Buddy's holding Oh, them. my God. The four? He's just, he's just, yeah, Sons he's like, and four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is fucking crazy. <laughs> what was it? This two guys attack this other guy, and he's he's a fighter. Oh, they, they picked the wrong fucking no dude. Way, really? And he, he's, yeah, go he's ahead. Holding go. one guy, pump, like just shit pumping him in the face, laughing, laughing. And the other guy goes to try and break it up. He gives him a couple cracks, and then he's like, <laughs> he's chirping, punching the guy in the face, and then he's like, sons and four, sons and four, <laughs> like smiling at the camera while it's going on. Oh yeah. yeah. Ah. So there's a guy, the guy that's videoing it. This is in the stands. Yeah, these yeah. two other idiots. The one guy turns to the camera guy. He's like, watch this. Takes his watch off and then tries to sucker the son's guy. N- nothing. Didn't work. He got the shit beat out of him. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, it was so funny. Yeah. Uh, the guy was amazing. Sons in awesome. four he yells that after awesome. he beats the shit out of these two fans. Oh, <laughs> and see, in that case, it's different because those two fucking idiots are asking for it. Well, see, and yeah. this is what's going to happen with sports now is everybody's all rookie now going to a sports event. And everybody's all hot and horny for their team. People yeah. are wound up. In right. general, I don't. Like, so you're gonna see. I think shit, that's gonna be a lot of. You're gonna see shit that shouldn't fucking go on. Yeah, but like, we shouldn't. We shouldn't get wound up to the point where we're gonna ruin it. Right. Let's yeah. let's all be happy that we're here together to right. be able to enjoy. Why 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 would I beat somebody up or ruin this? And, yeah. like, so ahead. that we can enjoy this. And it, like it's fucking stupid. Well, yeah, people don't know how to behave anymore. Fuck. Well, be passionate about your team, but don't fucking. Don't ruin your night. I know, but yeah, alcohol and whatever oh. drugs are on into it, and lots people get of crazy. Tension, yeah. yeah, lots of tension. Like I'm not gonna lie, everybody I'm needs to like to get fucking jerked off before they go <laughs> yeah, into the yeah. into the stadium. No fighting. They should all get a pump off and a joint. You everybody know, gets hey, a flashlight. You know what I? Yeah, what? yeah. yeah. I got kicked out of a game once. It was a football game. I got kicked out for making out with a broad. What? what? Why? With a cigarette in my hand. <laughs> that is horse so potato. Yeah, I had a, I had a Buffalo Bills game. Wow. You got kicked out for the cigarette, though, right? Mainly. <laughs> mainly. Yeah, it sounds like that's what Did, it was. Did you was have in, your shirt on? Yeah, but I was in open stadium. His dick was out, though. <laughs> and, fuck, oh, I had a heavy heart on. Heavy heart on. <laughs> Ron Burgundy. It was like, fuck, yeah. It was like fucking, there was like five minutes left. I'm like, I told this bra, this, well, not bra. I like she, how you call him bra. Yeah, <laughs> she's, yeah, she was a fr- she's a friend, but anyways, I'm like. If if they don't get a field goal, if they get a field goal here, I'm making out with you in front of everybody. And she's like, "Okay, buddy misses the kick." I'm like, "Fuck, fuck it, who cares?" Fucking grabbed her, made out, was making out with her. With a, I had, I was hiding the cigarette. Well, I ended up what to make out with her. I'm trying to be nice. You're you're Susie Hugin and yeah, the security hold- guard's <laughs> fucking teeth. <laughs> I'm holding the cigarette away from her. And fucking not security guards, fucking cops grab me, man. Yeah, they got their own. Uh, they got their own little jail in yeah, that. Uh, fuck in yeah. in Buffalo, they have a jail. Was it was it embarrassing getting dragged through the crowd with your boner? <laughs> he was banging into people. No. With it. Oh, that almost no. came out my nose. Knocking over people's <laughs> beers. No, because no, because she was in front of me. Uh, so I just started fucking. Everybody's getting hit. Like was, slap she shot. was getting hit. And fucking, she oh, was getting hit. Brilliant. Yeah. And it was awesome. And fucking, we got out. And then uh, I begged him not to put us in jail. <laughs> and uh, can't go to jail. They brought the girl there too. They took it. Yeah, they took her with us. Because yeah, they took her with me. Like I was getting arrested. <laughs> she had uh, tobacco resin on her tongue. Eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was also smoking before I was smoking. But they didn't see that. But she came with me. But what kind of what kind of people were in the uh, the Buffalo Bills prison with you? Do you remember? Yeah, did you go to the jail? No, no, I talked my way out of it. Oh, you did? Thank God. Oh, fuck. They were were taking me there. Oh, yeah. And then you you managed to get yourself let back. You didn't go back to the game, did you? No, I got kicked out in the parking lot aggressively. Yeah, that's annoying. Aggressively. Like, I didn't want to go. It was at the end of the game, and there was already people I know in there, so I didn't want to go. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what do I got to do here, buddy? Please. Just kick me outside. Just kick me out, (laughs) man. Yeah, yeah. Look, you fuck, you want my pack of cigarettes? Yeah, yeah. You want her? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> my brother-in-law, <laughs> my brother-in-law did something I never thought he could do it. He, we were at the Foo Fighters concert at the JLC in London, and uh, the one I saw you at, yeah, Michael. Yeah, where the, the where that acoustic s- electric. Yeah, we came back for the acoustic and saw you guys. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. So in that show, we're sitting there, and uh, 
<laughs> Number one, my brother in law is hilarious, right? Like he's making he makes friends with everybody no matter where we go. Like, like he's a very friendly guy. He was having a time. There's this lady sitting next to us and he turns to her at one point in time and he smells her hair. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and he says, uh he goes, What is that? Pert plus? <laughs> 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 Of all the products, that must be it. <laughs> yeah, it, it smells great. He's just like, uh, he's <laughs> is that spring fresh? <laughs> That's what he says. The green, the green bottle. So, j- <laughs> <laughs> so he's got two doobies with him, and he's got these choreographed, right? Like he, the one is the beginning of the show, and the one is oh, it's uh, well planned. Yeah, the one is for Everlong. Right? Oh, that's what he's got it them set for, right? So. Okay. Uh, the first one, we try to smoke it at the beginning, and uh, right away, like, the heat's on us big time, right? <laughs> so we're forced to put it out, and then we kind of lose it, right? It's a dud of a... We got to let that one go. So we let it go, right? No harm, no foul. We keep going on enjoying the show. Now Everlon comes on, ballsy lights that <laughs> doobie up, and uh, he's getting just ransacked by this big uh, ball bouncer guy. Like, oh, really? Yeah, like, drags him out into the thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I forget who was with me, but he says, like, uh, aren't you going to go, like, check on your brother-in-law? I'm like, yeah, it's he's got a lie in the bed he made, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. And uh, he ain't real my night. I was smoking Everlong's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was smoking the joint with him, but I wasn't the one who got caught. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't see what this, lamb. I don't see what this has to do with me. So I finally the guilt gets the better of me, and I'm, like, going to go out and get him. And before I even get to him, he's on his way back. And I'm like, what happened? How'd you do it? He goes, he just pleaded with the guy and told him how this is his favorite song. He had two joints, and you ruined both of them. <laughs> I got, I got nothing left to smoke, anyways. Like he's just like, you know, uh, like he went on and on, just telling him is like, uh, like how hard, you know, it's not easy. I got to work to get this. It's a big day. Yeah, you know, this is a big deal for me, and you, you know, at least you can do is let me go back in there and hear the, the fucking song. You know, <laughs> I'm not fucking high. <laughs> Yeah, you made sure of that. I'm having no fun at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so <laughs> let me back in, and the guy went for it. Let him back in. Oh, that's brilliant. I never knew a person would let you back in. Yeah. Yeah, once you're out, you're out, usually. I did get thrown out of the Raptors game one time uh, for uh, blowing an air horn. What? Really? <laughs> yeah. Like uh, you're an excessive fan? No. Uh, <laughs> like they use they use air horns for uh, like for the buzzer, I think. Oh, so you were oh. fucking with the game. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't. Your horn would be okay. Uh, it was when it was at the Sky Dome still. Like the yeah, the Raptors weren't in the in the ACC yet. Like oh, okay. They're still in the Sky Dome, and it sucked to watch a basketball game. Yeah, anyway. fuck from like way back, eh? Yeah, it was my my brother in law at the time. James' brother was was young. And he he's the one that got me the tickets. I brought him, and then uh, he brought the air horn too. <laughs> so, but you you excessively used it. N- well, I don't know. I I took the heat for it. No, oh. I took the the heat when the guy came down. I said it was mine, and then. But they didn't even. Out. They didn't just take it. They just fuck. Oh, they took it, and then they told me to get out. Re- <laughs> like they don't even give you. That's like two. Like they didn't. They said fuck you, d- you twice. I go. You don't. You didn't. Don't give us a warning. I didn't know it couldn't blow. Or just take yeah. take the air horn and leave you there, and say if you if you've got something else and you want to fuck with the game again, you're out. No, take the air horn and you're gone. Like that's excessive. Yeah. Well, I remember it that way. But I don't remember being upset about leaving because the game fucking sucked. You couldn't <laughs> hear nothing. You're doing me a favor. Yeah. 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 It was boring, man. It was like awful. Basketball, you got to watch in close quarters. Yeah, you, know? like, you do. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The Skydome was just too big. But I, you were almost like that guy uh, in the Chica- uh, for the Chicago Cubs. Like they didn't, <laughs> except it wasn't playoffs. Yeah, or like true. the most important fucking yeah. game of ever. Yeah, for this them. one the Raptors really stuck. Yeah. So but that that was crazy. How they blamed it on one guy when it was six people trying to catch the ball. He just happened to get it. Yeah, he had those stupid fucking headphones. Wasn't on. it Moises Alou or something that? Fucking the, made a big deal about yeah, it. Yeah, he was not happy. He the fact that he made a big deal about it made it worse. Well, I think the fact that the fan, the home fan, interfering yeah. with the home player who, who whose team has been in this a drought. X number of a drought. Yeah, sixty or forty. I think that was the thing yeah, that pushed right. it over the edge. 
You imagine if like uh, the Leafs are about to win the Steve, cup. What's that guy's and, name? Uh, Steve, Steve. Yes. Steve, Steve. Something. There's a Netflix documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Leafs are going to win the cup, and what? And you're, what uh, could uh, happen? Matthews is going down on a, uh, a breakaway to ice it or something and like that. And somebody throws some on the ice. Yeah, it throws a, a fucking cup on the ice, and then it, uh, and then it, 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 the guy trips over it, breaks his teeth. You know. Now basketball is going through an issue right now. What's that? What's They're basketball? going through a heavy player to fan interaction in the bad way issue. Oh, they're fighting with the fans, you mean? Well, like, yeah, like people are getting spit on, popcorn thrown on, or yelled at, or, like, it's a very... You know what I think that issue is? Being a big pussy. Yes. 40 million... Fucking give me a break. Make, popcorn doesn't kill you. Right. Guy's making $40 million <laughs> dollars a year, yeah. and another guy, and then and then the person threw popcorn, and Buddy gets charged yeah. with, or wait, Irving, or no, Westbrook got popcorn thrown on him, Irving got something done to him. He had something thrown at him, and they charged the guy with assault. See, a hockey player just go up and beat him with his shoe. That's right. right. Yeah. And then we're all square. Or, or if you're Ty Domi, you pull him into the penalty box. With you. Imagine that. <laughs> that Imagine awesome. the horror. Yeah. That guy Ty Domi stealing. being fucking, like, full jail if that yeah. happened nowadays, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cancel culture. Like, like imagine geez, telling that story. He's like, a criminal. Like, imagine telling that story. Like, I got pulled into the penalty box by Ty Domi. I probably made that guy's life. Yeah. Yeah, He's man. that guy. You didn't die. Any videos? No, I on? made. I made it out. That guy's such a. You, I know. I seem to. I feel, feel like I met that. We've guy. all. We all yeah. know that guy. Yeah. yeah. Just shaking the glass. <laughs> Fuck you, and dummy, then, pussy. And, and then yeah. the commentators like, what? You know, uh, think about or something about the lawyers. Yeah. Oh, it was a joke. I thought don't. Deal. Yeah, don't. Don't was pretty good about that. He was really like, good. He about got it. him, but then he like he could have got him way worse. Could have got him worse. Yeah. Or it could have been Rob Ray and just feed the well, fucking. <laughs> yeah, I think if a fan uh, interacts with the 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 athlete, then the athlete should be allowed to interact back with the fan. Right. So if you throw something at me, I can throw something at you. If you uh, touch me, I, then I can touch you. If you punch me, then I can punch you. But you know what's happening in basketball is, is these guys are crying and say, "Oh, you know, we're you know it, this has been taken too far, and we just want to be an athlete." Well, the fucking fans are two inches from you off the uh, line. That's why I watch wrestling, Beaver. You can throw whatever you want at those guys. Oh, exactly. And they throw batteries it. at them. They do. Because they're s- full of baby grease, so it <laughs> slides off. That's I right. saw a good one, man, in Hamilton. <laughs> what? I saw a good one in Hamilton. Triple H was leaving the ring. I went to watch it. In and Hamilton? Yeah. That's cool. And somebody grabbed China's hair. No oh, yeah. way. Like the fucking that ninth wonder pop- of the world, bro. Yeah. And Triple H launched this guy. Like, oh, he yeah. He went probably four rows. Back in, like, well, yeah, just fucking tossed him. He's a big him. dude. Yeah. That's awesome. But it was one of those not taped. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a house. Oh, good yeah. ones, yeah. So they're, you know, do what you want. And yeah. that was when Triple H and China were together, probably. Yep. Yeah. Yep. She's dead. And I think he might have taken some steroids. Oh. I think, you said it wrong. I think she might have taken more. Supposedly. <laughs> she had the leftovers. <laughs> she had the leftovers. Like, fucking, oh, she had a deep oh, voice. She had a good, strong jaw, too. Yeah. I like to look at. A yeah. large clitoris. Yeah. <laughs> like a wiener. Yeah, just like a ween. Any cocktail wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> and I heard she had some body hair problems too, and she had uh, she had this stretch of body hair that went right from under her breast right down to her balls. Really? <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, but when you right. take that many steroids <laughs> as a broad, you take that many steroids. Like she had pecs. Yeah, she yeah. had balls too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> Don't forget about the balls part. <laughs> yeah. You know, hey, you know what? You know what? Broad in wrestling that was. Like ten out of ten, I thought when I was a kid was uh, Sable. Oh, I you like Sable? I liked Sable at the time. Oh yeah, Sable's married to Brock Lesnar. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. in real life, I don't know. Huh. What, about, what about Wendy Richter? Wendy I Richter. I, I just saw her in a documentary just recently about Fabulous Moolah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or May, May Young. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh I've been watching those friggin' A and E biographies hey. like hotcakes oh yeah what what do you watch them on well uh a and e <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah you watch go them on figure. a yeah. go figure yeah it's like uh, if you catch it on the right day it's just like they just play them all the way through so i caught the end of i seen the macho man one because he's my favorite and i caught the end of the warrior which was kind of fucking sad at the end and then they went into this like hidden treasures of the wwe oh where they go find yeah it's not great yeah. you can right. skip that one the biographies they're cheesy but if you like wrestling yeah yeah, it's all the g- best guys. Like Rowdy Roddy Piper is a good one, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, I watched. Uh, re- I've been watching Wrestling Confidential. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's on Crave. 
and they do little like 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 kind of like 30 on 30s about wrestling and yeah. then so they did the Montreal screw job oh. and they did like uh <laughs> yeah. they did uh like uh, the the death of Bruiser Brody and the what about the murder ben of Dino Bravo and uh, Chris Benoit one probably Chris, yeah two parter on Chris yeah. Benoit wow. yeah. and like all the kind of like that's uh, cool I watched that this one. is on what Pete sorry Crave not A and E Crave yeah so A and E I'm watching Bell I don't know and I think it's on uh, yeah I think it's on Showtime or something okay Maybe that's what yeah Showtime that's what it's on yeah Showtime it's on. like I don't and this is no offense to because I'm not following new wrestling I'm hoping that my son one day probably gets into it hopefully me and too the guy did because I'll fucking watch it then me too and uh, <laughs> I just that watching that old stuff is just the best like it's the best I know, I was watching uh, um. I watched this. I got a, I got a Roku stick. Yeah. And they uh, you can get free apps. And there's this one called Wrestling. Yeah. Right. And you just uh, you just click it and you get random whatever comes up. You awesome. And if you don't like that match, you can fast forward it or whatever. So they'll show like old like Macho Man's dad. You know, like really? Angelo Poffo and the and the black and white footage in the uh, Chicago uh, really stadium that? or whatever. And then they'll go back like. So the really old stuff, and then they go into like I like the uh, there's a, there's a lot of like uh, uh, midget wrestling that's on that. <laughs> that's your favorite. Yeah, it's the best, man. It's so <laughs> good. It's so good, man. Some of those. And the thing about this is uh, people think uh, that uh, midget wrestling's like uh, not politically correct or whatever. And I guess when you watch the WWE or whatever, they always make them into leprechauns. Yeah, they and, do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but like, our if you doink, watch those, our, our clown, yeah. If you watch those <laughs> old matches, like where these these uh these midget wrestlers would, they would wrestle in Japan and then and Mexico and and like, these were great athletes. They were really really good athletes, and uh, they did do the little comic bits sometimes. Like especially if they f were all fighting a big guy, they would have a way to, or where they'd fuck with the referee, like in midget tag team matches. They would always like uh, the referee would always fall down, and then they would all just like team up, team up and kick the shit out of them, and it would be hilarious, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's normal sized. But if you really saw these guys, they were like they were like uh, just as trained like wrestlers as anyone else was, and they were ripped, and they were really good at the math skills I bet and you stuff they're like fucking that. Fucking strong as shit. Oh yeah, like these guys, and so then they say it's politically incorrect or whatever, and all these guys who like trained to be the top of their game are now said that their their whole sport that they're dedicated their life to is now Gone. insulting to themselves. Hmm. Right, but it was a source of pride, wasn't it? Not. Yeah, they got into the ring knowing that they weren't into the ring because they were magically you know, magic. They you know, were into the ring because they were right. of stature, height. It was yeah, a, it's like a weight class, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like a, uh, <laughs> what's his Mayweather's uh, doesn't fight heavyweights. You know, like uh, he fights other little people like him. Yeah, and they put twelve in against Andre the Giant and make yeah. it even. Yeah, yeah, right. I would <laughs> yeah. love to watch that. Has that happened? Yeah, I think he's fought like five or six of them. Yeah. Me little people? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought he fought five or six real-sized people. No, no. No, he people. has done that probably too, yeah. But but l that would be almost cruel to watch him, like, just crush those They're just hanging just, off like, them. Pick their, just palm their Like heads. a basketball. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. a basketball. I'd be scared for their health. Anyways, we should really get this show uh, started. Good eh? warm-up, We should have hit that, the... the Record that's for Jen Husco. Oh, we did. Right? That's like for Jen Husco. Right? That's gold. Yeah. You're welcome, yeah. Jen. I think we, we have been streaming and recording the whole time, Beaver. Oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Those are that hidden gems. All, that, that whole opening was actually part of the show. Right on. We're like half done. <laughs> 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 all right, but we should out. we should start with a real live a theme song, Michael. Let's do it. Let's okay. go. at the start there. <laughs> yeah. You got her, you got her. 
Thank you, everybody, yeah. and welcome to the Dutch Hall. Uh, we are back in the pool shed. We got a few people here. We don't have to feel guilty about it as much anymore because we're healthy as a country now, almost. Mm. Except for one of us who's out being COVID tested, but we'll get to that later in the show. <laughs> First, we will... We're uh, socially distanced right now. <laughs> we are. First, we'll introduce our all-star cast here in the shed tonight. First of all, running the board, running the uh, a, a robot, and it's our good friend, Kevin Van Dungeon, everybody. Woo! Oh, That's it. You gave yourself four that time, which was... Or three that time, which was one more than last week, Kevin, and I think... You're getting better. Maybe better help. Maybe it's better help. Yeah. Maybe. Beside him is the man that you just heard playing the theme song. <coughs> yeah. From the band Crown the Lion and also from the world famous greatest band in Canadian late night world history, famous. The Nocturnal Emissions. The band leader, Michael Bow, is here, everyone. Yeah, there he Hello, is. ladies and gentlemen. Good to be back. And in the big comfy chair. Is my, is uh well I would normally say Wes is my favorite but today Beaver's my favorite. Oh, right on, man. Uh, ladies Thank and you. gentlemen, Derek the Beaver Van Yeah, Hayes, everyone. Beaver, woo! <laughs> and just beside him, there is uh, the replacement of my good <laughs> friend uh, Dave and the uh, my stalwart co-host of this program, Robot Charters. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Pete. Nice Robot. Duster. Robot. Charters and Robot Charters has a big surprise for us in the episode today. We'll get to that just in a moment. But first, I am your host and two time, two time President's Club Award winner, Woo-hoo. Pete Van Dyke. Yeah. 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 yeah that's a nice round of applause. It sure he is, Dave. It. it sure <laughs> is. Um, you know, Robot Charters, I got to tell you, it's been an odd week with Robot Chart. Ch- I can't even say his name, but with Robot Dave, let's just call him Robot yeah. Dave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Robot Dave is, uh, he's, it's a weird week. He left me a note this oh, week. Did he? Yes, which is weird because <laughs> he's, he's not real. Like, he's not, he, he's, he can't write a note, I would think, right? You, you did say you come in here every now and then and wonder what he's doing. I wonder what he's up to. And it yeah. turns out he wrote a note. And in this note, he wanted, <laughs> he, he, he claimed that he was able to do impressions. Oh. He has an impression uh, that you'd like to do on the show. Oh, there really? is an impression that you'd like to do on the show, isn't there? <laughs> there sure is. <laughs> there sure, sure is. is. Okay, so he's 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 working on all cylinders today. I got to tell you that right now. So, Dave, uh, is there uh, any way that you can give us like a tidbit or like a hint of uh, of this uh, impression? <laughs> <laughs> any guesses from that, guys? No. Sounds like he's having a seizure. Guys, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure I got it. It's awful. I'm not sure I really got it from that, Dave. Um, can you give us something a bit longer? Back up into the ring in just a moment or two for more exciting fucking action. Oh. Wow. Any guesses now? I think I got it. Sounds like a wrestling announcer to me. That was unbelievable. One more time, Dave. Let me see if I got this right. Back up into the ring in just a moment or two for more exciting fucking action. That's me, Gene Oakland, people. That's, that's definitely what it is. is. That's a solid Mean Gene, Dave. That's it a really a nice good. F-bomb in there, too. Yeah. That's X-rated Mean Gene. Yeah. Yeah, that is X-rated Mean Gene. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> no. How'd you go back to his normal voice that quick? Well, he's, a, he's, a, he's an impressionist. I don't know how he's doing he's this, but I'll tell you. Uh, Cheddar's Robot, he's, he's far superior than the original Dave. You know, like, I, I built him hoping he would be good, but this guy, Cheddar's can't do any impressions at all. And uh, you know, it's it's it's. Gl- I'm glad that his absence has made me uh, invent Charter's robot. Eh? He surprises you every week, hmm. right? What? Where the He's devil is the man? Where is the uh, real Charter's? Uh, geez, I don't know. Uh, do you know? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. What's the next one? I think he's just got more to say. Oh, maybe just let him say it. And you should have seen what he did this past Thursday on Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> what'd he do? He nailed a turkey from the rear. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. What? The turkey with the pecker on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's got X, it's, it's X rated. Yeah, he does a good X rated mean gene, eh? Yeah. Uh, oh, I forget where this one was going. <laughs> um, did, uh, 
turkey with a pecker is there on anything, it. Like, is there yeah. anything else he wants to say to you? Like, oh, right, right, right. Hey, uh, Jared's Robot, while we're at it here, one, you should probably look at me. Can you look at me, for heaven's sakes? He's ignoring you. He's ignoring He's me. He's staring right at me with his gumball <laughs> eyes. <laughs> look over here. He's fucking freaking me out. <laughs> his eyes look like the world. But Jared's Robot. Oh, there oh, you go. There, there you go. go. <laughs> hey, uh, do you have anything else you want to ask me? Can I, can, I, can I tell you something as a friend? No. Can I tell you something as a friend? Sure, sure. Go ahead. You're the shit. Oh, oh wow. wow. There we go. Oh, that's a compliment. You come in here, you shout, you rave, you you just go on and on and on. <laughs> oh, that's true. I want to know, does this guy sit and yell? Does he, does he pass the fucking potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I got to tell you. Uh, you nailed my temper there, uh, Robot Charters. I don't know how you, you've been observing me here in the Dutch Hall, obviously. Uh, but I don't eat potatoes. They're wretched, wretched fruit. They don't agree with me whatsoever. I don't, I don't eat them. But it, if I do want food, if it wasn't potatoes, I would probably say pass the fucking whatevers. I thought. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> um, but actually, you just mentioning potatoes, uh... Yeah, it just it kind of makes me want to be sick right now. Better not be throwing those up uh, while I'm while I'm here. <laughs> all right. Well, I won't. I won't at all. You know what's good for you. It's, yeah. Jesus Christ, it's a nice aggressive. strict he impersonation. Is aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good. He, he, it's a bang on mean gene. Yeah. yeah. He goes right into is. character. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bang on mean gene. Very good. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> Anyways, very good. Robot charters, everybody. Wow. Yeah. 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 Outstanding. Outstanding. I can't believe that's what uh, Robot Charter's been up to in here. He works on impressions. Probably watches old videos. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I got to tell With you. The TV right there. Yeah, I was watching one uh, of mean, mean Gene interviewing Iron Sheik about the turkey tournament. And uh, Iron Sheik, they got a cage with a turkey on it, eh? And Iron Sheik just comes out and opens the cage and pulls the turkey out by his neck. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like uh, talking about how much he hates the tur- like turkey and he looks like Hulk Hogan and stuff. And he basically throws him back in the cage has no regard for this turkey wow and then uh, spits on it you know like you know like <laughs> it's one of the funniest things i've ever seen <laughs> he hates that turkey he hates the turkey you know but you can tell the guy grew up probably just cutting the heads off of uh animals you know like, like no big chickens deal for supper every night he probably had no these days fucking animal activists would be all over him oh, oh yeah you can't the key can't uh, uh treat an animal like that no. on tv but it's f- so funny to watch that old shit now, eh? <laughs> oh, like yeah. when people didn't have those rules and yeah. they just gladly. Those rules? They didn't have rules. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we had, they had different ones. Yeah. Like my, my daughter was, my daughter's saying, we were, we were watching, I think, a Disney movie. And this was, I don't know how everything becomes a controversial talk with my one daughter, but it does. And um, <laughs> so uh, we were talking and we're watching one of these Disney shorts. And uh, it's it's about this old man. Uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but this it's this old man and his wife, this old lady, older lady, and and uh, she wants to go out and dance. And he used to dance, and he's young, but now he doesn't. And then they go. He figures out a way that if he stays in this rain, he can be young and dance or whatever. But anyways, the point of it is, the old lady is black. The the old man. I thought was white. My da- one daughter thought was Hispanic, and my youngest daughter corrected us both and assured us that he was Asian. Which I, I thought we all thought different things about what this guy was. It's, it's a perfect character. He, he, he appealed to everybody. People can see whatever they want in the guy, right? And then uh, I said, I think that's where everything should go for Pixar. We'll just go to some generic, not not anyone's represented. Like you're. You know, you're just like uh, like a Simpsons yellow. Yeah, That's Simpsons right. yellow. Yeah, exactly. Like we're just like yep. a, a generic color. You know, like we're all going to be beige anyways. Eventually, we're all headed that way to be eventually beige, right? <laughs> we're going to be. <laughs> we're not going to be like black, white, whatever. You keep going down the list. We're going to end up being even now. You know, like you look at us. I'm about the same color as all you guys. If you put our skins colors next to each other, yeah, we're not. We're different, mm-hmm. uh, and that's because. There's different things in the, each of our family wood piles, you know. Well, it's just like the fucking. Next se- with it's us. like the census we just had to fucking fill out. I don't know what I am. If you go to ancestry, the, the government census, you had to, you had to name your 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 ethnicity, and then you got to name your kids. Well, 
just add them all up. Next thing you know, your kid's got six different bloodlines, and it's like, okay, how long is the list gonna go here? I mean, who cares? That, who really and cares? Who cares exactly? Because if you look at like what what uh, like if you go to spit in one of those cups and you get your DNA, I know I'm half Hungarian, right? So that means I'm half Hungarian. So that means I'm half kind of like the till of the Hun came in and like banged my relatives, you know, mm-hmm. my great 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 whatever grandma or something, and I got a part like Mongol, a uh, Mongolian, uh, like like I got some Mongolian in my ancestry because everyone does till the hun fucked everybody in that region you know <laughs> and uh so uh, part of me i guess would be asian then right wouldn't it be mm-hmm. and then uh, you're in that wood pile and then we know the, <laughs> yeah. the story of brabant in holland mm-hmm, i mean uh, everyone else has blonde hair but not in brabant they have the dark hair yeah, huh? yeah, a bit of darker skin you come from the south yes, and oh. the yeah <laughs> some fr- so uh, I think there might have been something from the north of Africa, maybe that snuck in and then and had their way with the another one of my grandmas, you know, way back. Well, when. the Moluccans got in there, right? Yeah, we never know. And then uh, <laughs> 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 that's right. Oh, poor Virgil, eh? He's. Ah. I wish we had him. Uh, had him for the Euro, eh? But, uh, hey, good start though. Yeah, that's right. We uh, four Dutchmen in the room. And uh, we can talk a little soccer without having to, like, uh, chastise anybody and call their country terrible. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we have it's one. really fun. I yeah, know it is really fun. <laughs> but we're always joking. Let's yeah. just put aside a little bit of time for the Portuguese anyways. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> but uh, the, um, Holland has one game in the books, 3-2 uh, to two over the Ukraine, I think, at this point, right? That's correct. Yes. Big win. Uh, uh, favorites to come out of their group, is that right? As they should be yes. in that group. Uh, I would take that win very lightly. It's great they won. They almost blew the game. Ukraine had not scored a goal in, I don't know, they said something like five years or five tournaments. So they got two on us. Yeah, and knowing – no, so That's not great. <laughs> no. Yeah, not a great start. But, uh, but, knowing Holland, but we won. Knowing Holland, they were uh, super, super sandbagging. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm hoping because I know that's what they do in soccer tournaments. They, they say never give all you got at the beginning because you want to save it for the knockouts and all this shit. Did you see that half? And then that that goal today uh, or yesterday from half field. Yeah, yeah, that was that nice. was one hell of a kick. Yeah, um, keepers yeah. cheating out. Yeah. When's yeah. the next game? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. No. So good start. Let's see what happens. It's not. It's not our greatest team. There's a lot of uh, controversy surrounding the coach, Frank De Boer. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of a uh, – uh, he, he doesn't have a good coaching record. He's got a pretty good uh, decorated uh, playing career, but as a coach, he pretty much sucks balls. So, he, so he, it's not it's not what you know, it's who you know. In well, they looked all right in the first game. We'll see what happens as we go here. I don't think they're going to – I don't think they're going to use all their assets correctly. I'm sure we'll fuck up along the way. But if they can get out of the group, that'll be good. Who do they play? Uh, who do they got next? They got uh, there's a North Macedonia, which I'm not sure if that's who they Austria? play next. And then Austria is is Austria the other one in there? Yeah, I do Who's believe yeah, so. Austria. So Austria would be a, a little tougher one. They got. Uh, who do you got for the tournament? I d- went in a pool and I chose France again. I was say really, France. I got England, France in the final. I will not have fr- uh, France because I just uh, because of the pool of death is so tough this year. That's a unbelievable and, group and uh like i can't even understand how that happened to have those those three in like one france it's france germany and uh portugal all in that oh. same division right that's right like and geez, then man. uh the, your your beautiful country of hungary oh and hungary yeah yeah no oh, so they battled hard today yeah they're but they're not gonna win no. Th- those uh good crowd though but those are good those are three like three dangerous teams <laughs> Yeah, somebody's – I'm not sure how it works. I think there's a wild card that comes around, so the the third team might slip in there. Too. Oh, really? Yeah, I think that's how it works. Uh, oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Otherwise, there's going to be an upset of mess. Well, support. it's just a shame that one of those three big dogs goes out. I goes think out, yeah. that's why they kind of throw that rule in there. I'll tell you, it's it, I like it as much as the World Cup because those are all the teams I care about in, yeah. the, in the World Cup. Yeah. Really. Like, I know, I, I know, like, Brazil right. and Argentina right. and, you know, like – Chile – but like, uh, but most 
the most of the countries that I like get excited about watching their games where are the European countries. To be honest with you, I do like World Cup because you can. I like watching the Asian countries play sometimes too because they're so fast and their style is a little bit different. And then so you can see different and and the African guys. They yeah. really played like a, like a strong game. But remember, I like watching those Cameroon teams play and stuff sure. like that. Back yeah. in the, uh, in the I- Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Coast. Yeah, they're nice yeah. team. Yeah, for sure. That's so a World Cup. Yeah, that's World, World Cup. that's World Cup. So I maybe I take it back. It's not as good as World Cup. But no, but it's exciting. But I mean, exciting. I, us being Dutchmen, we I, at least I could speak for myself. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, I always get excited. I, I I love soccer, so I just like hearing other people talk about it. It's cool that they got three games a day. Like if you're want to just catch a game you know through the day that see something going on it's nice people are talking soccer and i think uh there's less to cheer about do we okay um i wonder who the robot likes for the s- tournament yeah but i think he's a world cup guy so i don't know if it really matters but you don't have a soft spot for mexicans oh, oh more a world yeah, cup guy world yeah. Cup, yeah. yeah yeah that's true that's true. good team yeah that is the mexicans yeah they're my always my. They're always my. Uh, Is that your number, number two? two? Yeah. Beef. I'll who's your number two? In World Cup. And yeah, any yeah. Well, let's say World Cup. World Cup. Ah, uh, see, I was always your other country besides. I mean, we yeah. all can say Canada, but well, we got to get there. Uh, for me, we was, actually have a decent team. Was, they're they're saying was, we're getting close. Yeah, for me it was Belgium. Nice. Yeah, okay. Belgium. Fair enough. They got a sick t- like. Yeah. They're, they're That's who I have to win the Euro this year. Belgium. Sure. Belgium. Yeah. Belgium. I think they're. I. I uh, that's my pick. If De Bruyne is healthy, I think yeah. that they'll he be okay. He looks like he shouldn't be as good as he is. Just looks like a geeky nerd. He's yeah. amazing. But he's so good. He's probably the best passer in the game right oh, now. Oh, he's amazing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Who's your second, Kev? Uh, I like Brazil yeah. because of the way they wax. Fair enough. <laughs> that the wax. I like the English because of their uh, teeth. Dentist no, I just I know so many English players from following the Premier League that I just they like o- England. They, they always the get make everybody excited, and then something out of nowhere, it's like fuck. Okay. England is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah, world, I, 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 for some reason, soccer. I like those kind of teams that you get real close, I, and then I, your heart just gets ripped out yeah. of your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's always next year. Like a, even fuck. in England's pool, they're they're predicted to come out of their their uh, uh, pool, but I'm saying they're not going to. That's what I'm saying. Croatia, that's is going to be is going to be number one. Come is that mean the same one? Is if they're in there, Croatia is nice. I, I'm I'm not sure about the group, but Croatia is a nice. Whatever it is, England always messes up. They do, and then you always so you cheer for them, and then uh, who cares? I would love rather see Wales do do something. You know, like something like that. Because who the fuck ever cheers for Wales? <laughs> You unless know? you're from Wales. Unless you're from Wales, right? You don't even know that they're a team. You're like, did they get a team? I thought they were just part of another country. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ontario having a team in there. Yeah. But uh, I guess, uh, do they have one of these tournaments for CONCAF? Uh, con- like for, for us? Yeah, like for North America. So I think that's what they're, they're – the CONCACAF is in World Cup qualifying right now. So I think they do have their own that it's just their own tournament, but right now they're in the world, qualifying for the next World Cup. Oh, so yeah. and Canada's doing pretty well in it. I guess they're going to the next stage, which they haven't been to in many years. Aren't we hosting one too? Uh, I'm not sure. I could like I you. think I think we're co-hosting with like the states and Mexico or something. Really, for one, and uh, that's why we get a we get a team get a buy in there perfect yeah. <laughs> we'll take what we can get at this but point. i don't know that might be uh, yeah, i'm not sure either i i follow the european stuff because it's like more. i think the next one's qatar the next world cups in qatar is, yeah okay and i think the one after that is oh okay so we win that bid for real but it was like with the states it's not just us we're not doing it by ourselves so like a north american bid or it's like a north american bid really yeah, yeah. i think it was like well, a, either way if you could go watch a any of those games yeah be yeah awesome. i mean that's that that's the thing and we might i hope so i hope you're right because we might it, you know it might still be um like toronto or montreal or vancouver you know right it would be a big city for sure but they could play at bmo yeah well toronto's got the facility for it for sure yeah that probably be like we probably will see something in toronto they're not going to not include no toronto. you would assume that'd be great that would be great yeah <laughs> the real thing oh i'd love to wear the orange and go there and party Oh. Or see anybody, honestly, I don't even care. Yeah, I would watch any of the games. Any, yeah, it would be amazing. The atmosphere would be. It looks like so much fun. Mike, so what, 
My <laughs> daughter was born on World World Cup year. Yeah. No and shit. and uh, so I was home from work like uh, when Jane went back. I was like home from work taking care of my new baby mm-hmm. and watched every single game in the World Cup. That wow. it was the it was the greatest that that one particular World Cup because I, w- I watched every single game. And you, you wake up, you, you watch could get committed and not have to feel bad. Oh, I was so <laughs> into it. I was yeah, and I didn't feel yeah. I didn't feel guilty at all because yeah. I was still like my baby did not die. It's, it's like eleven in the af- in the morning and you're watching a soccer game and everybody's still living. Yeah, mm-hmm. not so bad. Yeah, that's yeah. all you have to do. My whole job was that. Yeah, and it seemed like a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah. When I was doing it, it was like, well, this is a lot of work, and now I'm like, fuck, I would do that in my sleep, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's weird. Eh? I we J- I said to my wife the other day, I'm like. Do you uh, like? Do you remember our thirties about how much shit we did? Yeah, you know, like that was a busy time, man. Like, uh, I feel like you just get getting into, getting into yeah. that stage. Yeah, yeah. I could like see it both? coming. Oh yeah, we yeah. keep saying, <coughs> uh, my wife and I, we keep saying, let's just enjoy this now. Well, yeah. he, you know, he still wants us, and like our friends have gave us fair warning. You know, he still wants us, and he still like wants to cuddle in and wants to play. And, Soon enough, it'd be telling us to f off, right? Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I think two best pieces of advice is like, and uh, you make sure you enjoy uh, enjoy it yeah, while we are. it lasts, yeah. and uh, this too shall pass. Yeah. Like even for the bad stuff, you yeah. Know? Like mm-hmm. uh, you're going through a, a tough time, or whether like toilet training, or teething, or or uh, you know becoming uh, whatever it is, drinking, or <laughs> you know like fighting in school, or whatever it is, you right. know like. Yep. It's usually just a period of time, and you work it out, you get through it, and it goes away. You yeah. know, like it's not, it's nothing's forever. Did you ever think you'd have to pack that much shit up just to go? Holy somewhere? fuck, Kev! You need a trailer, man. The first time we went away with Ke- uh, Kel's family, uh, we went up north, and I was like, I think we need a fucking bigger vehicle. Yeah, and this is insane, huh? One little. I baby. thought this thing yeah. like we have. Me and her in the front, and he was in the back, and we got an extra seat and fold down in a huge back, like in an SUV. Not enough room. Not cool. even close, Not beef. Even close. Yeah. You know. And then you get to your where you're going, and your wife instantly regrets it because she forgot one thing. Oh, yeah. And she's probably not wrong because when they're home, everything's accessible, yeah. right? Hey, you know what my wife uh – you know what? My wife always says she just likes to go with the flow. She says it all the time, <laughs> right? Go with the flow. But you know what she means? One time I was noticing inconsistencies with go with the flow and <laughs> with her saying, I'm just, we just got to go with the flow. And what her behavior was, which seemed to be me to be the opposite of go with the flow. Yeah. Right. So I was like, I'm all up for going with the flow, but love going flow. with the flow does not mean you pack every fucking thing in her house. Yeah. No, that's exactly. not go, go with the flow means bring your wallet. Yeah. And the figure it figure out. Figure it out as you go. And uh, that's what go with the flow means. And I go, what do you think it means? She thinks it means prepare for every possibility. Yeah. <laughs> and, when the, and when that possibility will never happen, you still got to plan for it. You, you plan for every, that. every single possibility that could ever happen like man. so that you can then go with the flow. Yeah. <laughs> so pete like for me <laughs> i'm i'm like five hours six hours up north in a fucking cottage with a fucking boiling hot you know fireplace got the place nice and warm and i'm in crappy tire in buttfuck idaho <laughs> to get a fucking little portable heater because the baby's room is cold. The baby room might be two degrees fucking yeah. too cold on the other side of the fucking house. It's like, what? We went to Cuba one Grow time. Grow some chest hair, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were in Cuba <laughs> picking up the luggage off of the conveyor. Oh, you're in Cuba. Here we go. Can't find the can't find the boy's bag. That's the only bag is missing. Oh, but there's an no. identical bag. With, I can't remember the girl's name on it anyways. My wife goes on every bus going to every resort and says, who is this person's name and this girl finally stands up she's like that's me and she's all lit like having a great time and she goes get off the bus and get my kid's bag out of that <laughs> <laughs> oh she says this to the lady like right pulls like the wow fuck you yeah, yeah we got bad. shit to figure out right and, I, now. and she's like it's okay we're going to the same resort my wife goes i don't give a fuck 
I want my shit now. His diapers, all the <laughs> shit. They turn needs. into beasts when we're with their baby. Oh yeah, yeah. fuck with a woman's diapers. <laughs> Sorry, a baby. woman's baby's diapers. Yeah, yeah. anything to do with their baby. Anything oh, with the fuck. baby. And they ended up being friends on the trip, but it was. Oh, and did this girl? She had the bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> She had the bag. It was like, she goes, here's yours, and his was identical. Kev, I, can't, Kev I, can't, I can't even laugh. I can't laugh about it or nothing. My wife would fucking you lose look. her mind. Yeah. She she made them unload the bags under the bus till she got her kid's bag. Oh, yeah, I bet. And I was just like, uh, the bus driver's looking at me like, you're not stopping her. No, but meanwhile, no. you feel Nobody's horrible. saying anything here. No. <laughs> yeah. Let's just let oh, this no. happen. When it comes to your mo- mother's... Just let it happen. Yeah, you got to just... To yeah. Tap right out. Nothing you do as a father is sure. going to help. No. I'm looking at the Cuban guy going four beers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take four. Uh, any marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I'd go in the doghouse for the rest of the trip because at that moment I'd be like, just leave it. Just fuck. We'll figure it out. You'd be in the baggage thing. <laughs> fuck, man. I'd be in under the bus yep. probably by the end of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck. Just let them go. Let them go. Let, let them do what go. they got to do. Yeah, can't mess with mom. Mother's yeah. instinct. Jeez. They got they got shit to do. Yep. You know we should do a, a little segment before we forget. Oh yeah. You know we call it. Uh, we do it on our program every week. It's called uh, feedback. Feedback. We got feedback. Oh, let me turn that up there. There we go. We got feedback. It's feedback. It's mother's fucking feedback. It's live feedback. Hey. Welcome, everybody. Uh, feedback. We got feedback. This week's uh, segment is brought to you, as always, by our friends at Amazon. If you'd like to go to our website, livefromthedutchhall.com, you click on our Amazon banner and do your Amazon shopping, and then we get money. Please do it, because it, it, it's helpful. And uh, if you don't do it, you just don't give me money for no reason. Fuck Bezos. Which, yeah. <laughs> He's building a cock shit, a cock rocket ship. Is it a cock like Ace and Gary? It looks exactly <laughs> like a cock. So Honestly, Beaver, do you mind putting in um, Jeff Bezos' uh, rocket ship into your phone and then and go to images, and then you, c- and then you can show Michael. It's a, it looks just like a deck, eh? It is no question. A, it, it the is old a, Ace and Gary ship. It, it looks exactly like an Ace and Gary ship. Big helmet on it. Oh. <laughs> And that's what you're paying for is Jeff oh, Bezos' helmet on his it does rocket. Look like a, it does look like a dick. Right? And he knows it looks like a dick. He's no fool. You don't build that thing, and it looks like well, a dick. Well, I think it's kind of like a fuck you to, like, uh, to Moscow. Why, does right? Elon's right. look like a vagina, or what's going on? <laughs> no, know. Elon's is a slightly smaller dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not as big <laughs> as a dick. Yeah. All kinds of hair. Oh, it totally has a dick mushroom head on it, yeah, eh? Mushroom Classic uh, mushroom <laughs> yeah. cap. Yeah, that totally is a dick. Yeah, uh, is Elon's a, like two balls? Because that would work out. <laughs> Just like two pods that go underneath of that dick. Yeah, that would be awesome. That holds the fuel. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Bezos is going to be in on the ship. Yeah, Bezos and his brother. And right? His brother. We're in the protective. But they're not going up, up front. Five mil. They're Just going to space, though, right? From space yeah. balls. Five mil a piece. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would pay. Uh, I would pay more money not to do it. Hey, I got a funny story for you. What? So I was watching this mo- uh, video online the other day. It showed uh, someone like your size, like standing in a chair, and then there's these two little kids, and they're mouthing off to each other in Russian. Yeah. And you think that's two kids, and then they they start uh, fucking kicking each other, and then the whole internet erupts about how these two little kids are fighting, right? Yeah. Next thing you know, apparently two dwarfs. Really? <laughs> yeah. I saw that video. Yeah. You saw the video? The yeah, guys, uh, the guys, the k- the one kid, he's 18 years old. No. Yeah. His name's uh, Hans Bula is his name. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That's hilarious. His 18 name. years old? He's, the dude on the right is 18 years old. And now that I see that, I can kind of s- picture him 18. Like, he's got droopy. He's got a double chin going on, like. <laughs> Probably just hung like you. I thought it was fucking <laughs> hilarious. Then they got him showing him like he's like uh, the uh, the Khabib style. Like he's a big figure in Russia. Like really? Oh, oh yeah. This the guy, sh- the little guy, the little guy. He's like uh, he's in the gym and he's hitting punching bags and shit. And then I'm like, hey, he's got to be 18 now. Like he's a do- like speaking of the wrestling. Door- but he's a real fighter. Well, he's just kind of like a public figure. Oh, public he's, figure. Yeah. But like he's he's he fights. Oh yeah. I would like to I see. thought it was hilarious. Like, if you've seen the video. Yeah, we like got to show Pete after the show. Yeah, for sure. like they're mumbling in Russian, and it's like you almost feel like you know what they're saying, but you don't know what they're saying. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
little little people I know this is this is bad but little people I can't help myself like <laughs> like I've been like this since I've been a child you love it you, right? right you love it I love them I yeah. love being around <clears> them I like uh, I'm just fascinated <clears throat> by little people because I don't know why but I just get excited when they when I see one, I get excited, and I don't know why I am. It's an involuntary response. I can't help it. I just but get excited. Pete, wouldn't it be like a top ten thing in your life it's to like have a unicorn. to have a good buddy that's a dwarf? Like I'd love to have a good buddy that's a dwarf. To be honest, out, I, just to hang out. I've only had uh, questionable. F- I got a brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was, Somebody I was, had to say <laughs> it. I, I only have questionable dwarf friends. Like I, I have had, I have uh, two friends I can think of in particular whose arms are s- too short for their body, like a little too short for their body, and their head is a little too big at the same time. You know? Oh, really? And uh, no proportion. Yeah, and I just say like I know that they're above the height that you're supposed to be or whatever, but can't you just be a tall dwarf? Because that <laughs> that seems still dwarfy to me. You know. Yeah. There was one girl that I went with to university mm. that we all, I always said she worked at Dolly Small Arms, <laughs> because, <laughs> but uh, but she had she had short arms. A beautiful, nice girl, and a beautiful girl, but she did kind of have those same proportions. And I was always like, man, she dated my roommate at one time, and I was always like, that's she was on the spectrum, on the spectrum of dwarfism. I would say that yes, I would. But uh, and do you remember? Do you remember uh, Marcos? <laughs> I always have to throw in a, a shout out. Oh, Darkos, yeah. uh, Marcos and uh, Simcoe. Yes, Ma- I do. Mabel? The coat lady or whatever the guy that go took oh, your cover. Yeah. Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. Was it Mabel? That even sounds like a. Dream. Rumor has it that she died. She they found her in the coat room. That's what it was. That she that she, she got suffocated she, in the coat. She used to take ticket money though to get in. She took ticket money to yeah. get in. That's and she was miserable. Oh, yeah. Hated it. She was very not nice. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I still always got like I remember the first time going to Marcos and then she's waiting there to take your money and I was so excited, you know, like the you know, whole t- the whole lineup, you know. You know what she didn't like anticipation when you mentioned her height. You, you, she didn't like anything. No, but she definitely. If you mentioned her, like if you were like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She yeah. giving you giving you grief and you called her a midget. Like, yeah, I think she would shoot you. Up. Like, oh I, yeah, yeah, choke you out. Yeah, she didn't seem like she was uh, friendly so at like, all. Like, she seemed like she was tough. Like, I wouldn't mess with her at all. So, like, she no. contemplated that she was probably on the spectrum, but. No, she was, a, was she was a hundred percent. Oh, person. really? Yeah. There, was, she stood on a box to take your money. No, really. Like, yeah, she was a she awesome. was like a like a like a like a full fledged little person. If yeah, you, for sure, for sure. See, I, that was back like in the said, day. That's part of Simcoe folklore now because that building is torn folklore. down. Folklore. Like I like I said, I wouldn't even care if it was female or male. I'd love to have a a little person as a. As a friend? As a friend. Well, I'm going to tell you, if you're a little person that's listening to this show, I know we do have one little person listener, actually. Uh, she hasn't uh, interacted with us in a while, but I knew at one point we did have a little person listener that used to send us feedback. So if there are any little people listening to this show and you'd like to be Beaver's friend, please give us an email at live from the Dutch hall at gmail.com or you can just give us a message on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or any of that stuff. And we will make sure that we give you all Beaver's information. Yeah. You guys can become fast friends. Why can't we be friends? <laughs> I think I know this is considered probably by the uh, people that uh, punish people for um, their behavior to be not good. But what Beaver's done here is he's put out an olive branch to the little person community. And yeah. he said to them, you know what? I value you. I'm an ally in your community. <laughs> And I want to be a f- your friend. Yeah, and I think that's beautiful. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. I think everyone that anyone that questions this this man's beautiful gesture is a is just the problems on you. That's, that's right. what I say. Right, because I want to embrace the friendship. You're good enough. You're smart enough. Yeah. And gosh darn it, Beaver loves you. I was working. Yeah. <laughs> I was working at the bank one time, and uh, we do we go to these conferences, right? Yeah. And there's this guy they sent down from Regina, and he was a little person, right? And uh, I am, I see him as soon as he walks in, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is crazy. Like, I didn't <laughs> even know we had had, what, we had a guy working in our company that was a little person, right? So they get to the first, like, team-building exercise, which is go up to somebody who you haven't met before. I fucking hated these exercises. Really? Yeah, well, I usually Put them on the spot. I usually do, too, but not this time. 
Okay. Because yeah. you know who you're going to. Door I knew open. exactly who I was going to. There was a fucking vapor trail as soon as they let us go. Sing. I'm going right to that dude. Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, he was a piece of work, man. Yeah. He, he was a booze can, and he was a total fuck up, and he should not have had the job. <laughs> it, he was a great guy to talk to, though. Yeah. It was hilarious, you know? You but, still uh, embrace the experience. Yeah. And I couldn't help myself. It wasn't like I said to my friend, like, listen, I'm going to go talk to that little person. Or I'm doing something to humiliate him or to embarrass him. No. Subconsciously. My fascination was too (laughs) strong. Like, did I had you st- too many questions, and I need to go ask them all right now. Like, you. Pete, did you stare at him like, uh, like at a grade school uh, dance when you're staring at the person you want to ask to dance with? Well, like, first just doe eyed. Yeah. Uh, no, it was like, more like uh, uh, robot eyed. <laughs> or did you just sneak it in there? I, I was, I, yeah. It's like uh, looking at a girl that you kind of like think uh, that you have a crush on. Kind of, oh, I was like that yeah. more like where you just sneak a peek and you're like, he's on. <laughs> <laughs> full, hey, full handshake, or do you got to do like the little vagina handshake? Oh, we were boozing that night. Like we got, he got no, wasted. That what I mean is, oh. is when you go, like when you introduce yourself and you go to shake their hand, like they got to. No one should ever do that little handshake. That you thing's know, the fucking worst. Exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You would never. You don't do it. No, you go full, full, full handshake. handshake. Full yeah, handshake. thumb to thumb. Just like yeah, I, just like I do to a baby. Yeah, yeah. I would shake a baby's hand the same way. You will learn to shake hand like a man. I don't care if you're a newborn baby girl. You're going to shake him. Right I hope hand. that yeah. doesn't get lost in COVID. Exactly. I hope one day we can all just fucking shake hands normally again. Exactly. I, 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 I still do it. I've started doing it because this is what I can cons- This is the reason I started doing it again is because if you put on hand sanitizer right after you shake hands, doesn't that fucking undo all the damage you did with your handshake? Exactly. <laughs> sure does. Right? Then I can do that. Oh, I got a funny story for you. Is uh, Well... To me, anyways, my uh, my son, he's well, he's just over two, so he's just learning everything, right? My uh, the, my employee, he's only two, he's just that's over crazy. two, and my employee, that's crazy. My employees, like they, their version of, of one version of shaking hands is tap elbows. Yeah, yeah. right, right. So uh, my, the one employee is like teaching my little son the tap elbow, right? One sh- showed him once. Now every time he comes out of the house and he sees he sees Buddy uh, in the driveway. Like he'll walk all the way across the driveway with his elbow out. Oh really? Like it's awesome. Oh yeah. My and and, Does he all- and my the employees like just loves it. Eh? He just races over to him. Oh yeah. Tap elbow. Did he also teach to teach him to whistle at girls with big asses? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in time. Yeah, in time. In time. It's a long summer. <laughs> in time. Man. Long summer. <laughs> and how to roll properly too. That's the next one too. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you guys do that. Well, they do the the thumb handshake too, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know that one. All right, here's a question about the thumb. I know the thumb too. You Almost sent uh, my brother-in-law until this shit didn't let him go on his trip. Okay, one thumb. Okay, when you do this, we're talking. I want to know the amount of thumb rubs against what it means because no, I know there's different it's meanings. Just, okay, it's just a twist. Yeah, the twi- yeah. like you you snap yeah. it off the other guy's yes. thumb. Okay. Yeah, you know, let's set it up too, because just to make sure that people. This is Jamaican fo- folklore, yes. or a- it's maybe not folklore. In, it's real in Jamaica, and, is, and it is a certain. Let's talk about this. It's a certain class of people in Jamaica too. It is not for the upper crust. In okay, Jamaica. see, I don't know. It's for the working class. Yeah. So you're talking working class people, like uh, regular guys. You know. Would you consider us in that class as Canadians? Well, I think yes. that I think that we're I we're the we right. have the right to do this handshake. Yes. No, it's not the right to do it. It's the when you do it, you expose yourself as okay. You know, as working class. Because okay, I did yeah. this with a with at a dinner with this guy who was a uh, this. They put us at one of those Benihana things, mm-hmm. uh, and this guy just got married at a resort, and then he uh, was sitting at our Benihana's table. And I shook his hand, and I did that this the Jamaican thumb move. thumb move that all the Jamaican guys taught me. And uh, he goes, oh, they taught you that, did they? Like, he was very, like, dismissive of it. Oh, yeah, that's really? A, that's a dick thing to say. Yeah, it was, because he was trying to establish himself as being abo- above, above all that. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. okay. So if I had to choose a team between the guy who yeah, thinks he's above that all that or the guy who's the, taught me the trick, like even the fucking uh, drug salesman on the beach that does that thing with me. Yeah, I'm with them. I'm with them over that snooty prick. Right, you know, me too. <laughs> One thousand fucking percent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm gladly will do that thumb trick because I, I, it's people I do want to meet. Those that 
don't like it, they can go they, fuck themselves. They get the fest track. Yeah. So the it's a trick when you when you shake a guy's <laughs> hand in Jamaica. Uh, Jamaican guys will, especially if they're if they respect one another, or as a sign of respect mm-hmm. that you guys are on the same level and I treat you as an equal. You do one one flick, one flick of the thumb, okay, tip to tip. And you just do it once, saying like respect, like I, I, I kind of give you that uh, nod. If you do two, you are a gay person. That's what I, I was confused about. I knew there wasn't a certain number if I did yeah. too many. That, and if you not do concerned, but that they would think of me. That's not just not me. Two is two is not not now, appropriate. Now, if you miss the first one though, they don't count, and you fix it. They don't count yeah, that as two. It's, it's true. That is true. Now, one time what happened was, because the next step is three and more. Yeah, what's three? Three is, three and more is, you def- You generally don't get three. You usually get to three and then you just keep going. That's what, It's like a bunch of them. Yeah. A bunch of them. You I've been in that. It. I've been in a whole bunch where you're just talking to the guy and you're and doing still that doing it. Yeah. Well, you're still talking. Yeah, that is like a, sh- a sign that you're good friends. Okay. Like that you're you're enjoying each other's company. We're just going to have a nice chat. You guys are you guys think very highly of one another. It's a ve- it's like a super friendly thing to do. Right. Uh but I did that one time with this guy. Uh but I, my hand slipped off at 2. No oh, shit. I was trying to go for the <laughs> bunch of them. <laughs> yeah. And my hand slips off cuz it was wet and it, uh, at two and then uh i'm like no you know he's leaving or whatever and i'm like no 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 come back here i didn't mean that like and then i just fixed it I that's why you, you gotta wrong stare impression. at it you just keep staring at the thumb like no i'm not <laughs> yeah, not that there's anything wrong with two it's no. just i like the i like the move actually i do like the move like i, I like i like the handshake and uh, i like that with that little click i'm like hey, it's after a while you forget you're doing it and mm-hmm. then uh it is kind of like uh um like a, a like I, it's a cool habit, and then you do it out of place, and then everyone thinks it's it's weird. Eh? Yeah, right. But you get used to it, though. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's it's pretty cool too. If I'm being honest, I just, yeah, right. Yeah. I just love it how my two year old's already learning the lingo. Yeah, it's great. He's gonna be speaking full pot while like, uh, oh yeah, cousin Kev, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Going to Miss Rosie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get some bula bread. Oh man, I love I love Jamaican food, man. Me it's too. it's my favorite kind of food. Me too. That place. That place in Simcoe is dynamite. Yeah. That's yeah. They think I got th- three Caribbean places in Simcoe. We had we had a harvest big. party uh, not last year, the year before, at Miss Rosie's. And oh, she, she's she, a great cook. She put on a whole bar. I said, so what's on the menu tonight? She says, the whole menu is yours. The oh, whole yeah. menu. Whoa. We had everything. Soup, goat tail, oxtail, every yeah, tail, yeah, yeah, yeah. chicken foot. <laughs> yeah, she's It was cook. amazing food, man. And, like, it is amazing. you have a fucking heaping pile of food. You barely can finish it, and then she's like, "Here's your container for home." Like, and just like each person gets two people's worth of food. It's fucking unreal. Uh, it's amazing. You get so for much food, bucks. so much food, and it's all d- delicious. And um, in Simcoe, that's one thing. Like, I'm not gonna like Simcoe sucks. Like, it's not a good place. <laughs> And no. uh, it's the, not beat around the bush here. Yeah, you know, I'm not trying honest. to tell you that Simcoe's a place that you want to be at. But if you're there in the summertime, one thing that's real nice is we got really good Caribbean food places, and yeah. we have really good Mexican food trucks. And 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 they're and the no doubt, no that doubt. That one that's that's like a Mexican flag. Yeah, which was the one that's all painted up, like the decks painted, the fucking trucks painted up. Is that one that tastes uh, is that just off King Street or something? Yeah. yeah, that one's not as good. No, the one that's painted like a Mexican flag is like red and yeah. That one that's right by the they park it by the by the mall there. Right. By the giant tiger. Yeah. That one is the best one. Oh, okay. That one's terrific. That guy is a uh, a real Mexican guy, but he's white. So what are you going to have there? Huh? What are you going to eat there? Oh, I have I like to have the ones if you can go there when they're getting ready like on a Thursday or Friday. Um Friday especially. Yeah. They'll have the stuff for the for the guys, like for the Mexican guys who are here um, doing the offshore programs and yeah. stuff. And then they have like the Canadian the pork, the pork rinds and the and the like uh, beef head and stuff like that. They'll have like weirder kind of cuts of meat in their tacos. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, and I'll get those because okay. cause they're different. But otherwise, I'll get a poquita. A what? I get a poquita. poquita. Is Which, that a taco? That's yeah, a, it's a taco. It's I think it's got like uh, chicken and potatoes or some oh, cool. thing or something. Or oh. I get a or I'll get like a pulled pork or that's what I was asking. No, po- uh, like the one is pork. Yeah. Poquita. So you mainly get in a taco. I get tacos there. Yeah, it's a yeah. taco truck. What else do they got there? They got tacos, burritos, and and that's what they got. Taco shit. Tacos, burritos. Yeah. And uh, whatever. Th- they're all the same shit. It's like Taco Bell. The same ingredients. Is how do you put them together? They call it a different thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's all that stuff. But it's real good. It's like the corn tortillas with the two <coughs> the two tortillas, and they give you a little wa- lime wedge, and the hot sauce is, like, homemade. Yeah. And the stuff's been slow braising all day that they put inside of it. It's not like way more authentic. Like it's, not, <laughs> it's not like uh, ground beef, you know. It's like uh, – <laughs> You're talking about like uh like like the like the Jamaican food where they have yeah. the braised oxtail, but it's like melted yeah. down food. It's just it's like comfort food, right? Right. Good. So Jamaican food is like a lot of it's the sauce, right? They'll take normal food, put certain like jerk chicken. Jerk. Their jerk sauce is really oh, good. Oh man, when you're in Jamaica, you go to the, on the beach, mm. hit a jerk hut. Whoo. Mm. Yeah, that'll do it. You can get locked in for the week or yeah, for man. however long you're you there. You get a big pile of chicken and rice and beans and oh man. Oh, yeah, I, I, I ate uh, I ate at the Jamaican counter every day when I was at the at resort. The yeah, resort like when you look on the barbecue, it looks all the food looks like they just burnt it. But oh, a jerk chicken. Yeah, yeah it looks burnt. I my my br- my sister grew a bunch of Scotch bonnets in her garden last year, and I made my own jerk sauce. It was great. Put it in the freezer and nice. stuff, uh, and then uh, kept you know throw it in chicken and. and and it was pretty good. It tasted like because j- it's it's all about yeah. It's more or less marinating a shit ton of times. Right? Yeah, they got like a zillion ingredients too in a like yeah. a in a jerk sauce. There's like so many different things in it. Right. I think it's like a mole, like a Mexican mole. You know, they just throw everything mole. in the kitchen. Mole. 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 They just empty <laughs> the fridge out. Yeah. Empty the fridge into the sauce. Yeah. Empty it out. Yeah. So I I have to do two more ads. And then in this part of this segment we call feedback. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. No, I just keep forgetting too because we're getting near near the end right now. There it is. But anyways, guys, I turn my volume on. I gotta tell you, look over there at my cousin Michael Bo. Look at him right now. That's a well-adjusted individual. Sure this is. guy does not need our next sponsor. I'm not gonna ask him. <laughs> I'm not gonna bring it up. <laughs> I'm just going to acknowledge the fact this is a well-adjusted person I'm gonna have a with, a, with a fantastic <laughs> support group, and he doesn't need any help. But some of those, some of you people out there are struggling in the pandemic. Some of you people are just struggling with life. You know, some of you, some of you have like stuff to deal with. Why do you got to burden your family with all your problems? Why don't you talk to a stranger? Maybe talk to somebody who's a professional who knows the right things to do to help you. Why not use better help? Better Help's a sponsor of our show, and we couldn't be happier to have them. Um, they are not a crisis line. They're not a self-help line. They're, they're professional counseling done discreetly. It's available worldwide. You can uh, reach out to a counselor. You're going to have somebody uh, contact you within 48 hours. You can reach out to them any time of day. Uh, it is way more affordable than your traditional uh offline counseling you don't have to wait in a waiting room with a bunch of crazy people are you afraid like am i as crazy as that guy or is this guy judging me like they you know you don't have to worry about any of that it's in the comfort of your own home you just talk to somebody and if you don't like the guy you got or the girl you got you can just ask for somebody else there's a large database of professional uh therapists that are able to help you and comparing it to regular counseling that i've used in the past I swear to God, uh, from what I have paid, it's half the price, and it's uh, so it's very affordable. It's very accessible, and uh, please use it. It's BetterHelp.com, and for Dutch Hall listeners, you can go to BetterHelp.com/slash/DutchHall, and you can receive ten percent off your first month today. That's click for a better tomorrow. Oh yeah, let me just you put it. Her nailed it. Oh, hey, and I want to. I just have to spell it though. I have to go. That's better help dot com yeah it is it is kind of confusing yeah, I, I don't know if that. it's health or help it's help h e l p that's what they say in the in the in the in the um in the in the read script or whatever mm-hmm. they go you gotta say it better h e l p one time fair enough and you also have to end the ad by saying after you say your line beef which is perfectly delivered Nailed i'm it. supposed to say 
BetterHelp is a is a sponsor of this program, and that's so that they know they pay me. So if you guys use them to get your first ten uh, percent off, they send me some money. Nice. That's how <laughs> sponsorship works. Right on. And uh, Patreon, if you'd like to go to the Dutch Hall, uh, if you'd like to support the Dutch Hall in a different way, you can become our Patreon sponsor like Jen Husko, who is our ooh, queen. Ooh, ooh. God bless our her. Queen. Sure is. And I got to tell you, this is like for $120 a year, because at $10 a month is the program she signed up for. She is our queen. Mm-hmm. We are at her mercy to do whatever she tells us to. For a hundred and twenty dollars a year, that's it's ten dollars a month. She might even get a lock of Charters Robots mustache. <laughs> I, I I would give her the real mustache if she asked me for it. That that's is in, the in jar. a velvet case. It's in a velvet case. Exactly. In a jar. And that's how much how strongly I feel about uh, the support that she's given us. Mm-hmm. And if you would like to join her, go to uh, Patreon dot com slash Dutch Hall, and you can look at all the different uh, available sponsorship options we have. And that is a way that you can uh, help us keep going with this program. And that's it. For, and also, if you do want to give us a piece of feedback, <laughs> once again, just go to live from the Dutch Hall, gmail.com or go to uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, any of that stuff. Find us. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to see on the show. Tell us uh, if you got a friend who's uh, below four foot ten <laughs> that uh, Beaver can hang out with. Needs a friend. Yeah. Cool. I want to meet you. Maybe yep. the Haitian dwarf, if God forbid, the Haitian dwarf is still, uh, or I shouldn't say God forbid that he's still kicking, but if he's old, I hope he's okay, you know, like, yeah. hope, I haven't heard from him so long, but what if we get hooked up with a Haitian dwarf, I right? Know, I forget, yeah. Yeah, Haitian dwarf, that olive, olive branch could reach right down to him. Exactly. I think that's a spinoff <laughs> podcast, Bur- uh, Beav. Oh, uh, I think Beaver, so. It's, yeah, it's a spinoff. Ha- Haitian dwarf and Beaver's podcast, I'd listen to it. He hasn't been months in right. on an island, he's... He's still going. I haven't heard. I haven't heard hide nor hair of him in probably a year since the pandemic. Really, yeah. Oh, yeah, pert near a uh, yeah. pert near a year and a half. Pert near. Yeah. So uh, you know, it's always you ever, never know when you're going to find one of those people in the coat room there under a bunch <laughs> of coats. Come to <laughs> us. Come over to the side. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, did you know that there was a guy that played R two D two and he was a little person? He yeah, he went inside in the can. tin can. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, that's nuts, right? That's definitely not legal anymore. Oh, that's totally. I, I you're wish go I knew s- the guy's name. You're gonna go Anthony sit in a, Dan. No, that's C three PO. Uh, you're gonna go sit in a garbage can for and Chewbacca all day. was a dude. Is he still alive? Is Chewbacca he died, still alive? I think he Did died. He, Peter Mayhew. Yeah, yeah, Peter Mayhew. Yeah. The C three PO just died, right? That was Anthony Daniels, I think. I but there was a little I think see, person uh, that was inside uh, yeah. R2-D2. And R2, he's dead, too, I'm sure. Yeah, I, One would assume. Yeah, you can't live forever. No. Princess Who's Leia. left? Han Solo and Princess Leia. That's all. Princess no, Princess Leia's Leia dead. Han, yeah. Luke Skywalker and Han Solo are left. Yeah, Is that it, eh? Right. Down to the nitty-gritty. What about... Uh, oh, Lando. Lando, Lando. yes. Lando got yes. Resi is still alive, yeah. He's so cool. Fucking right, he's cool. Billy D. Williams. Who played Boba Fett, I wonder? Uh, uh, I would imagine Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, that's (laughs) that's actually a real safe guess. Yeah, because he probably wanted to get somebody a new bit of the game, you know? Mm -hmm. Dog knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Fucking right. I don't know how people didn't see him coming. And he already has Bounty Hunter in his name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that would be a fucking fun job, don't you? Bounty hunting? Especially the way he did it, all dressed in leather and... Paintball, with thirty-five paint. people walking with them. Everybody's oh, yeah. got a paint, yeah. paintball. Yeah, gun. you'd feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah, is that what they're getting them with paintball guns? Yeah, they had paintball guns. Oh, really? Wow. In if Hawaii. you weren't distracted by his wife's huge tits, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, Just fucking I, ridiculous. I, used to I wonder if there's a good number. Halloween costume. I wonder if there's a number for the size of her tits. Like I don't think so. Uh, she died and like too, right? just a shelf, eh? Right? Just <laughs> they, did she? Yeah. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah. She's dead too. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Oh, well, and then Dog went on. Yeah, that is almost everybody from hey, Star Wars. Dog was dog, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Dog was dog. He went on the prowl like fucking a month later. No. Yeah, man. Is that yeah. Any small tits. I don't know, but I wonder. I used to I wonder if he switched it up. It's the Hawaiian way. What not to? Is not, he Hawaiian? Not to waste any time. I don't know, he lived, a, he lived there. I'm guessing it was <laughs> his hair. Was is her Hawaiian name? Beth. Yeah, that was her name. Beth. That was one of the best mullets ever. Oh no question! Oh, oh yeah, Johnny Hunter. His uh, his wife or him? 
both. Both, both. eh? Just uh, the couple set of, of mullets, eh? God, yeah. when you think back of mullets, eh? They kind of look like each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> Do you like that? A little bit of incest going on? <laughs> Just the same dye job. I think they say you start to look like your spouse after spending time with them, for the, like after spending your life with them, because you uh, unconsciously mimic their Just facial expressions until your face starts to actually change to accommodate really? them. Wow. That's what I've read. Wow. His face was leather. <laughs> and he's looking at her leather face, and they both and her, started. Her, her tits were leather. <laughs> like, fuck, man. You could set a fucking plate of food on it. I'm like, sure, I bet he did. Probably. He probably did. You ever have any friends where you, you they their their girlfriend or their wife or whatever looks a lot like them? Oh, I'm trying to think about. Yeah, yeah, I think I can. I got one. It's like they do look like they could. They, they look like siblings. They could mean? be siblings. Yeah. Wow. They look the same. They have the same smell. I've definitely, I've definitely got a friend that is like transformed into something that I'm not quite sure. <laughs> now, whether whether he looks like his wife or not, I don't know. But, but he doesn't look like he started. It's a lot different. He, the, the, I question the uh, relationship made him change, made his oh, appearance change. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's a tough one there. I think I know what you're <laughs> talking about because I don't know if I, I don't think <laughs> it's happened to me, but I don't know. Yeah, no, I've been I with my wife say. for so long. I don't no. know what I would have no, been otherwise. No, I, I would say, uh, I I would say husband and wife still. Yeah. Yeah, but I, she doesn't. She doesn't like make me wear anything, or I still choose my own clothes, which are like just rags. Yeah, that's what I'm. Yeah, but you're yeah. talking facial, right? You're talking like, like looks, not. Well, I don't know. Is dressed. it the whole thing? Is it the way he cuts his hair, or the way he uh, holds himself? Is the way he carries himself? Is yeah, I think it's the whole thing. Like, yeah. you start to see. I don't know. I just. I, do they wear matching? I was outfits? wondering how my wife could get. Uh, no, to it's me. not matching. It's not. It's just like molding. It's like more of molding, which is, I don't know. It's just weird. Well, I'll give my I'll give my whole look over to my wife if we're going to like a wedding or something. Oh like hell that. yes! And uh, we, I have no taste in yeah. anything. I'm just like, if do I, as you please. I have it, no hair. Exactly. Put just me in a suit and. Tell me what you what you think is going to make you le- the least amount of embarrassed about uh, exactly, me, and then I, <laughs> I will, will do, do that, it. and yeah. hopefully not get ridiculously drunk. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like that's a win for the night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I have. Uh, I miss that, man. I miss ruining it. Now when I ru- <laughs> <laughs> now when I ruin things, it's just because of me. Yeah. You know, it's not because of booze, you know. Before it was because booze ruined things, and then I was like, ah, the booze, you know. Just, and now it's just Pete doing it. And you're like, you can't hide behind can't blame booze. Behind anything. It's just yeah. Pete doing it. And I was like, ah, I'm just a dick. Damn it. Just start drinking. I know. If I was drinking, then I could always blame it on the booze. If things start going south, just start drinking. No, I think you just need to find whatever, like, whatever makes you happy. Like, I uh, I don't know. I think. Uh, heroin? Yeah, heroin, sure. Do you want to try that? I don't think that's a great idea. But I don't want to do it. I, I, I don't think it makes you happy, but makes uh, makes <laughs> yeah, you uh, sleep a happy person to be around. I guess is a better way to say. Yeah, it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm. From what I hear, I'm lucky enough that like you're good drinking job. is. Yeah, that I usually have a. I, do I fuck up? Of course I do, for sure. Not never in a major way. Knock on wood, but like, sure, you make your mistakes but for the most part it's a lot of fun everybody has a laugh and we all wake up in the morning and go to work there are right. people with this certain gene though where you can drink and you just get more and more fun as you drink yeah it's awesome you know <laughs> and if you, for real even the people around you are it's having totally. fun and uh, and those people are such great drinkers and when they and uh, when they drop off like like charters is a great drinker <sighs> So you much know. fun. He's a great drinker. He's fun. He doesn't get too annoying. And when he does, it's still fun to mess with him. Right. And the um, and the fact that he's not drinking now, it broke my heart. It breaks my heart, you know, because uh, he's so fun. He's so good at it. Yeah. And I was I, we had a we had a birthday call with a buddy of mine from California, and the, there was four of us on the call, and uh, three of us have haven't had a hangover in over. A year and a half, yeah. you know, mm. and so we promised that we're all going to get together in the summer and have and, a go at it and uh, earn a hangover. Yeah, we're going to 
Yeah. That's nice. It gives you something to look forward to, at least. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I did see I s- did see Charters. He was on that call, and he was sipping at uh, some uh, what are those uh, diet beers called? The ones that like uh, everyone Molson. Uh, like, is it Ultra? Oh, like near beer? No, it's like a Molson Ultra oh. or something. You ever see <laughs> diet beers? Yeah, I, I think I got one here probably. Oh yeah, yeah. Molson Ultras. They're like the diet beers. No, do you mean like uh, is it like point five? No, it was alcohol. Like a know. Michelob Ultra? Oh, Michelob. Michelob Ultra, that's what it is, yeah. Are those point fives? Is that what Dave calls no. a diet beer? Because <coughs> that's point hilarious. Five. Yeah, they're not point fives. They're just... Uh, just I think it's 4%. Yeah, it's less... It just it w- looks like it's... just less calories. In less right? calories yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's good for you. Diet beer. Oh, it's always friggin' Diet Coke. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's bullshit. Yeah, it's a tablespoon of sugar. Media, yeah, exactly. It's just media spinning in it, right? Yeah. Rat poison in it. Well, that's the same with those Beyond Burgers. And all that shit. Yeah, they they say there's no meat in them, which is correct, but they're full of salt. Like yeah. they have way they, more yeah. salt it's, than the. It's too the, good to be true, right? They have way yeah. more salt than a regular burger, and they're proven. And then the the companies even go out and say it. These are not health products. These are not claiming to be health products. They're That's not right. even as healthy as regular meat. They're just, uh, just not meat. Have, yeah, they just didn't have a face at one yeah, time. It's a vegetarian yeah. alternative. They're not meat, so they're just salt. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I say to all the people that want to eat, like, Beyond Burgers and all that shit. You want to eat, like, uh, tofu hot dogs or whatever. You know, you're not a vegetarian. You're craving meat. You're making yeah. vegetables into meat. If you liked vegetables, you would eat fucking vegetables. You'd eat right. a fucking cauliflower. you eat a, a broccoli. you eat a carrot. As a carrot, you don't make the carrot into a fucking steak. You fucking eat the carrot. Just yep. eat it, 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 it's scary barbecue and some of that shit, man. It doesn't even finish. Like it just fucking it. I, like it. It barely hardens. It fucking doesn't. You know how a burger. You know. Yeah, yeah. You got a raw piece of meat. And now you got a cooked piece of fucking beef. Well, no, it it looks like it yeah. don't even look right. Yeah, there was a person over. We had to cook a vegan burger for her. Yeah, I had to do the same. I was just that's it, what I'm more or less describing. Yeah, it was a it, it was not you could tell you could pick it out from a mile away which one the vegan burger oh, was. Oh, it fucking didn't make sense. Cuz it, it wasn't yeah, <laughs> nothing made sense about it. No. The, you just couldn't tell if it was, was it a di- different color? Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. And it, it was a different texture, a different size. You, you couldn't tell if it was done because what are no. you t- checking? Well, it was like mush. And yeah. then at the end. Yeah, everything you've learned is thrown out the window. Well, at yeah. the end, I'm like, when's this thing done? And they're like, oh, no, it's ar- it actually was already cooked when you put it it's on. It's pre-cooked. You're, it's pre-cooked. You're just, all you're doing is. is Charring it? Charring it. What is it, just gray? No, it's like a pinkish. Okay. Could have put it in the microwave. Yeah, it's so you could have. And it w- I swear to you, if you put what they gave me on a bun and ate it, they said it was pre-cooked, but. I would have gagged. Like, it was just... <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Processed food isn't, isn't going to be healthy no matter what it is. You know, it's yeah. going to be fucking shit. It's processed. Mm. Just make food. Just look at the food, what it looks like, and then eat it like that. It's fucking good. You know, most of the time, it's good. You want to know how those burgers became those burgers, though? No. What the magic trick was? They found a bean, like a, a type of bean, that uh, tastes like blood. Oh. That's really what it was. They found, like, a mung bean, and they were eating it. And like, That's oh. what these veggie burgers are? Yeah, there's, like, a veggie burger that That's tastes like, like coagulated mush. blood. Oh, my. Oh. And coagulated blood is what a burger tastes like oh, when you eat it, right? Like, that's th- that's what you're tasting, that deliciousness. Yeah. So it's like, like, hey, we found the taste of meat in this one kind of bean. Well, it's just, it's like you said, like, if that's the taste they're craving, then eat just eat the natural. Eat the bean. Or, or eat, eat the, the burger. Meat. Or, yeah. or eat the burger. Like, yeah, uh, or eat the, yeah, the don't same. eat the processed version of it. It can't yeah, yeah. be good for you. I don't see if you if you want to be like when my daughter was a vegetarian for a couple of years and we had to cook a lot of vegetarian stuff as a result. So you eat it, right? Like, cause you, of course you do. It's for and her. what we did was we took vegetables and we made them into a dish for her out of the vegetables. Yeah. And when you'd eat it, it would taste like it would taste good. You know, it would taste delicious, just like everything else we were making for supper. But uh, when you try to make it into something different, yeah. you know, yeah. something when you try to take those vegetables and make it into a steak, yeah, what the uh, fuck? You know? now, now you're doing science. You're just like it's just experiments. You know, you're not. It's, there's no telling what you're eating. All the shit our parents fed us when we were kids proven to be harmful to us, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> they just thought I was the best of science, you know? They're yeah. like, hey, man, the newest thing's out. Microwave fucking oh, geez, uh, meals or whatever. Yeah. Hungry man dinner. Hungry man dinner. Put it right Big in there. Big Jim sandwich. <laughs> fucking burn your mouth on that cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my dad did a weirder me out, and it still does for my whole life. Microwave eggs. Microwave eggs? I used to Scramble? eat those all the time. Scrambled. Yeah. yeah, you throw them in a coffee cup. Yeah, my dad had like this little holder thing, and he might Two quit. Minutes. That was one of the first. I hated was... it. I've never. I mean, have I ate one? I sure have, but it's dry eggs. That's like not for yeah. me. They're like two minutes, thirty seconds. Three eggs in the cup. You get scrambled. Boom, eggs. boom, boom. That, that was a real early that. move for uh, uh, microwave. Eh? It was the was bacon it? and eggs. Yeah, the uh, bacon. Bacon too. in the microwave seems ridiculous to me now, but. Fuck! Did we ever do that? We did it forever. On forever, paper, we had the little towels. paper towels or that bacon grease thing that yeah, you put yeah. in there that spins around with the grooves. With the grooves, with exactly. The grooves, yeah. Yeah. Now you'd never dream of using that. Really, oh, fuck! I was like an idiot. I just use a can or I use a pan and then I yeah. fried bacon. I do the know. oven. Yeah, the oven well, trick oven. is sweet, man. Yeah. If you're doing like a crisp, like a bigger yeah. oven like, and parchment it? paper saves a mess. Say eh? you got no mess. Yeah, learning with the little one around is like that saves in the mess. Mm-hmm. Oven's yeah, key. We're all a bunch of homemakers. Oh yeah, nice. Susie, sharing Susie recipes. Homemaker. <laughs> you cook beaver? No, no, no. no. Not. Like I can, but yeah. I don't need to. barbecue. I'll barbecue. I still don't do a lot of that because mm. my, my wife wants control. All part of it. And she's good at it. Very. Oh, oh yeah. You'd be a fool uh, to interfere. I would say I concur with Beaver yeah. besides the barbecuing. Kelly is so good of a cook that I only barbecue. That's it. Oh, that's yeah. about it. I'll barbecue. Don't get me wrong. But, like, I won't race to the barbecue because I don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> I love your swagger. Yeah. <laughs> I just love it. That's <laughs> big dick swagger right <laughs> yeah, there. Man. Yeah. I don't need to. She just kind of takes control of it. So why interrupt that? Yeah, man. I've been trying to teach. No one said you're stupid. I've been, giving, I've been giving my <laughs> wife lessons this year on how to use the barbecue because she's been asking me. Um, and because we, she'd never even consider, like, she doesn't even think about doing it. it and I, I don't think about it either because I've done it for so long without thinking that I don't know how I cook the chicken. I don't know how I cook the steak. It's just yeah. perfect because I do it the same way every time and I don't think about it, you know? Yeah. I feel like that's how my dad taught me farming. It's like he didn't really know how he did it. He just did it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then my you got to figure out how to fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> and there was no teaching, really. There's, there's, no, there's, no, you just you just fucking worked. You did. That's crazy. So she's never... Well, like, yeah, she just, uh, she's, she's just, a, she just let you do it. Let me do it. Yeah, yeah. of course. And then, uh, so she's now thinking like, uh, probably should learn that for when I kick you out, you know, <laughs> 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 I still like barbecue food. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I just wanted to say before we go, uh, one thing uh, is that the listeners in, um, uh, w- it's a weird month, you know, we normally get the, uh, things die down but i want to reach out to our american listeners because for some reason we're just the american listenership has just dropped off this month usually oh. they're close to canada and this month uh, i think we're only that da- we're down to something like nine states or something like that just like nine states but normally we almost cover the whole country but oh really it's low this month yeah. they're busy having a fucking time yeah is that what it is down there <laughs> they're opened up and they're just going out once this shit opens up we're going to be doing the same thing. All the internet shows are going to be like ghost Go towns. fuck yourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be going to rock concerts and yeah, stuff like that. exactly. Yeah. Way Wait a minute. Well, here's an update. It's 11 state. Oh, it's 11 now. I'm oh. sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Mean Gene, Dave Robot. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for our show this week, guys. We did it. The charters, you, you owe did yourself again. Excellent. I appreciate it very much. Beaver, it was a pleasure to have you. Kevin. Thanks, buddy. Top drawer this week. Oh, top great. drawer. Yeah. yeah. Thanks and a Michael. lot, Pete. Oh, you're welcome. And, uh, and Michael, as always, it's a pleasure to have live Thanks. music back in the yes, hall. Sir. Thanks for having me. And I was wondering if you could do me one favor to close out this show, if I, you could. I probably could. Can we give that theme song another Give try? her a spin again? Let's yeah, see if yeah. I can remember it. Uh, if everyone else at home, let's. Uh, I'll see you NT. See you next Thursday. I gotta remember the volume. Here we go.
nocturnal emissions. Yeah, yo. Hey, there it, it was is. all of me, Michael. And it was Staring into Michael's eyes. <laughs> oh, Charger Robot. Charger Robot was on fire tonight. Oh, my goodness.